steps and we'll talk about the steps. And so um, I'm a very big, uh, very big reader. I believe that uh, leaders are readers. How many of you read books? All right, very good. Leaders are readers. You have to make time to read. I don't like to read, but I've created the discipline to read because it is when I create discipline that the desire starts, that the st desire comes after the discipline. And so when I create a discipline to start working out, running that mile every week, and then the next, and then the next week, then the next week, then the next week, then, you know, after 21 days, it's kind of like, man, man, I need to get out there. I need to get out there and run. I mean, it's just, that's how we are created. And so we have to create the discipline before the desire. So don't wait for the desire to come like, hmm, I'm just going to wait for the desire for me to read. No, it's not coming because your flesh does not want to do anything that challenges you. And so you have to always be challenging yourself. And so readers, I believe readers are leaders and leaders are readers. And so a couple of reading components that you have to, I mean, reading books uh, that I'm going to uh, talk to you about, you have to go get this. The Making of a Leader, um, Dr. Robert uh, J. Clinton. Now, this is, uh, this is what we're all reading as a staff right now. All of our executive team, all of our pastors are reading this book, recommended by Pastor Diego. This book is absolutely amazing. I'm literally only on uh, the, where am I, chapter one. I'm really on chapter one. I haven't got to chapter two just yet, but man, this book is just, it's awesome. It really is awesome. It's talking about the, the steps that a person has to go through as a leader, and especially those who are building something for God, gives you great perspective. And so this is a great book. Now this, I'm sorry, Dr. J. Robert Clinton. Dr. J. Robert Clinton, The Making of a Leader. This is the second edition, but it's a more expanded edition. It's, it's revised and updated. He has a couple of um, measures in the back, and oh, it's just awesome. Oldie but goodie, classic, but never will go old. Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen R. Covey. This book right here will change your life. It will change your perspective on what business people do or how to think like a winner, how to create, you know, certain habits that literally lead to success so much so because there's a certain thing as, you know, incompetent, uh, excuse me, unconscious incompetent. That means that you don't know that you're incompetent, meaning that you're moseying around and, you know, you're just going around doing your work, but you don't know that you really are incompetent, the unconscious, incompetent, incompetent. But then there's also um, an unconscious competent that comes along with this. Unconscious competence means that you are now gotten to the level that your competence, you've been doing it so often, you've been putting things in place, you've been disciplined in your focus, you've been disciplined in your business plan, you've been putting down your goals, you've been doing your objectives, and you're, you, it's just a habit now that now you're at the place where you're unconscious and you're doing it. It's kind of like this, whenever we first start driving, right? Let's go all the way back. I know it's a couple of years for you guys, I mean, it's, you know, just 16 years old, so let's go back to our sweet 16. Whenever you got your driver's license, right? 10 and two, right? 10 and two, nobody talk to me. Don't, don't play the eight track. Um, you know, don't do, no, I mean, I'm concentrating on this thing because I have to be consciously aware of what I'm doing. But over time, you start getting a little lean on that thing. You put one hand down and you, then you start putting it with one finger, you know what I'm saying? Then you start driving with your knees and then you start texting and all that stuff. And so, but it comes to, now you're unconsciously competent. You're now doing something unconsciously because you've been doing it for so long. And that's where you need to be in your business. You need to be at a place where you're just, Hidden, hidden every goal. I mean, you're, it's a, ru 